Okay, so I'm going to transition on to number six in terms of our eight platform announcements, and that is that Windows Phone 8 will include Nokia's mapping technology built in. But I, I think there are, some, there are some Nokia fans out there or people who live in countries around the world where they know the benefit of the Nokia map data. Um, one of the big things that's going to be an improvement as a result of this technology and platform change is Windows Phone around the world will have much better detail and complete local information in maps as a result of the Navtech map data that's built into Nokia's mapping layer. Uh, another great benefit is Nokia's maps work offline. So as an end user, you can choose a region of the world, store that map data on your phone storage, which you might have added via removable SD, uh, and then you don't have to worry about your having a connection to be able to use your map. If you travel to a place where you have a poor, poor connectivity, it's no problem, your maps are offline, plus you can have better performance and potentially save on data traffic. All of this is encapsulated in a map control which all Windows Phone software developers can use. So all of those third-party apps get the benefit of offline maps and Nokia's great mapping data. And then last, in our partnership with Nokia, Nokia is delivering turn-by-turn -turn directions which will be included in Windows Phone in many countries around the world. And a little later on, Kevin Shields from Nokia will be out here to talk in a bit more detail about how that looks and how that works. So that is the number six platform benefit that's built into Windows Phone 8. 